Hi, my name is Julie and I'm the Glen Gardner. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I live in Florida and we were really fortunate that we dodged just about all of Hurricane Ian. We just had a blustery day, um, no rain whatsoever, and that enabled us to rent another excavator and get out there and continue to improve the property for the new house that we have coming. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this one and God bless. A T blank 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 blank. <laughs> blank A T catwalk. Yeah. Catwalk, yay! There's where the house is going to go, and we have not had any rain. Again, it's Thursday. This was supposed to be, I guess, the worst day, but we have not had any rain. And Come on, dirt man, see if you can get two loads of dirt. Oh, all over the place. Uh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Right now? Sure. You never know. They might be sitting around wanting something to do. Okay. Sure. Are you feeling like you got all the the uh, roots? No, but I got most of them. Really? Yeah. You were going for just where the house is gonna go. It's pretty pretty good right here. I still got some more to do, but I was gonna do over here too, so that if we decide to turn it this way, it'll already be ready. Yeah. And also, this is where we're gonna park. So yes. it needs to be done either way. Yeah, yeah, good point. So you can leave little, little roots, but you can't leave the big roots. What is grubbing? Everything's supposed to be out that's organic material. Honey, are you digging a pond? No, I'm going to fill it back in with something else, but i got to get this hole filled where the house goes. And so this is going to be good usable dirt to fill the big holes. Yeah, I only had one. That was this one. Yeah. What about the one in the center? Well, it's not a big hole. That's just where I dug it out because it was mucky. But yeah, I'm going to use that dirt for that too. See how just the sun and the wind has helped dry it out so much? It's looking real good, babe. <laughs> Honey, you did good. You got so, you got it all. You got the holes filled. You got them compacted down. I'm 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 elated. How much more you have to do? What else, what else, what else? Oh, lots. I mean, I'm not satisfied at all. With I mean, I'm not done. I'm satisfied with what I got done, but I still got a lot to do. I mean, the stumps are gone, the holes are filled. Yeah, I just got to I got to get it graded now and then get some dirt and build it up a foot. <laughs> Take a walk around. Wow. It's pretty good.
Sunday for the love of donuts, man. What was that? So what I've been doing this morning is I had a whole bunch of little stumps all down through here that Daniel had chopped down previously. Yeah. I got them all pulled up and dealt with. I filled up that hole with all the stumps and debris and now I'm back. This was it. a hole that you dug to get some dirt that you used yeah. uh, on the pad. Yeah, mainly this corner right here. Okay. It's all built up because it was that's where a tree stump was. So I had right. to pack it in there and wheel roll it real good. And then right here I've been grading <clears throat> grading down the back. Okay. Cuz I want the I want the perimeter you know, six inches lower than the house, so when it rains, the water will drain off the pad. Okay. And we can continue to build up the pad. Right. So that's the goal. There's still some areas that need to be dried out, so I'll, we just have to be patient. Yeah. Wait for them to dry. And yeah. when they dry, then we can compact them, then we can add some more dirt on top. Right. Look. What about these stumps over here? The stump that you have standing up like a little I stood stump them all monument, up so that I can take the chainsaw and cut them off, and then take the roots and throw them in the in the fire. A couple of the larger ones, I thought maybe I would cut into you know slabs for something, stepping stones. Clocks, ah, I whatever. like that. Yeah, clocks. Wow. And then I'd like to grade where the pad goes, and then ten feet around, all the way around. Yeah. So if you want to come out with your shovel and dig up that elderberry. Uh, there's a shovel right there. I'm gonna dig it up right now. Probably can never have too much elderberry. <laughs> but I noticed when you were coming back, um, that last pass, that sand, it was flying. Dust, dust or sand was actually flying, which is unprecedented for out here at this point. Yeah, but I need to get a, I need to get a builder's level borrow one from work and put marks on all four corners that way I got a height. I wanted a certain height before they put their dirt on. If the forecast holds we're going to be in good shape. I mean this ought to be dry by next weekend. We get six more dry days. Hey Sonny! Dry days. Did we turn all the heavy equipment off and here you come lopping around lopping over. Hey buddy. really pretty it's just a lot of room I'm just taking in that there's a lot of room just around this house there's a tree <laughs> every two foot yeah every direction even That's what this was when we started three years ago three years ago yeah before we even knew we were gonna move over here when we were just clearing to add land and I had a dream of a of a big garden over here and you know some a cow and pig and things like that we were just trying to open it up and and make good use of the land the Lord knew he knew he yeah. knew he knew he was going to be moving us over here and weekend we were expecting six inches of rain got zero rain rented an excavator and are in good shape ready for some dirt and we got another week of dry weather so we can get the pad done man if only they would call and say they're ready to bring the house they will